All right, guys, welcome to your next Android tutorial. This video, we're going to send, we're going to create a new button, and we're going to send a, a view web page intent. So we're just going to drop in a new button. Center it, add a text. View web page. What are we looking for? Looking for our on click method. View web page, main activity. Uh, and I'll just set this to view web page. Okay, we're all good. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to use a we're going to send an intent, and we're and we're, yeah, we're going to send an intent to view the web page. So we're going to package up the URI. So we're going to create our we're going to string. Actually, no, we'll just create a URI. URI dot parse. I'm going to say www.google.com. Okay, and then we're going to set this all up. So in order to do that, we've got our URI. So now we can create a new intent. So we need intent action view, and then our URI, and we start our activity. So what's happening now is. We're parsing up the URI and then the uh, intent is going to send off saying anyone want to, any, can anyone handle this view URI? It's not a broadcast where it yells out to the whole system and anything that wants can pick it up. This is essentially saying I need an activity that, start, that can handle URIs or you know in our manifest. Where are they? So we'll show you what this looks like, okay? on the emulator now. <sighs> Brilliant. No activity found to handle intent. I have a flipping browser and it works. How are you not handling the intent? Hmm, that's odd. Maybe we need HTTP. <laughs> I think that's what it needs. There we go. Sorry, I, I forgot HTTP. How do I even manage that? No, don't. I don't want to remember my preference. Ah. Anyway, yay! We sent an intent. We launched Google. So let's make our second activity respond to this intent. That could be interesting. So we're going to add another intent filter. Okay. And this time we're going to have our action. Android name equals. And it's action.view. Is what we're looking for, okay? Now, next bit of this is quite complicated, okay? Category. Uh, our category browsable. Uh, we need a default category in a category browsable. Android default. What's that doing over there? You go away. Ah, it's all gone haywire. And I want another one where it's browsable. Okay. So this defines that it's going to be a browser. Or it's going to handle it. And then now, what we want to do is we want to handle 
the intent. We want to handle all HTTP because if we've browsable, it might respond to other things. So the data filter or the data property filters out what type of data and this is most useful for this kind of thing, okay? So Android scheme. Okay. I don't want at string, don't be annoying me get thing. Keyboard's acting a maggot lately with that. Let's get drivers from a keyboard at some point, I'm using default drivers. Anyway, Android scheme, you want HTTP. So that means this activity will respond to all HTTP requests, regardless of the situation. So if we launch the device, uh, the thing, okay? And if we click send web page, a picker should come up. Now look, see what it's asking us for browser and intense tutorial? It's basically asking the user, what way do you want to view this? So if we click intense tutorial just once, it'll start that activity. Now, the problem with doing this kind of thing is that will happen for every single active, every single time, uh, app, whatever wants to happen. That'll happen. So do you know when you click a link on a web page, and let's say you go, oh, you want, you're viewing Reddit or Twitter or something like that, and you click a link to a YouTube video, and it, it asks you, do you want to launch the YouTube app or the browser? That is the YouTube app responding to YouTube requests, which is very cool, or YouTube H, uh, schemes. So let's define a custom scheme, okay? Android host, the host data tells us what host we should have this for. So we're going to www.twistedequations.com. So that means if we try and launch this website, our thing will come up, but if we launch a normal website, it won't. So we'll do that, okay? And then we'll run it again, and the same thing should happen. It's responding to a HTTP request. Just one second activity. And it's loading up twistedequations.com. Beautiful. So that's quite neat. Now, you can play around with this, but a common trick um, is for if you're doing OAuth authentication you often define a custom callback URL if you define your URL let's say instead of HTTP we call it a scheme yeah twisted equation scheme you can actually have our app respond to that now TE for a scheme right they're like things like FTP HTTPS HTTP those don't we don't respond to those normally but we can define a custom one to respond to and send urls essentially not really a great idea but that's how that intent filter works so i think that's it for this video we're going to change this back to http there's our http and what we're going to do then our next is we're going to send a share intent so we're going to share some text uh, we're going to see how we can send images through the system so if we go into the gallery app for example if the gallery app is on this okay no images are actually available <laughs> but you know the share button that comes up when you have a picture on a device uh, that's what we're going to do next we're going to make sure the share button works or we're going to respond to a share. Tell you what we'll do. We'll send a share and then we'll respond to a share. So that'll be the next video, guys.